Caddis Maximus here. Let's talk about these Doyles. These are Taiwanese made. They're essentially, to put it in a nutshell, uh, Doyles probably just contract manufactured Harbor Freight did with more professional grade uh, plier manufacturers. It's like these pliers, which I think are made made by the same company that makes the Milwaukee's. Interestingly enough, I'd still recommend these just because they're, they're pretty nice, but they're ex expensive. Normal price is like 25 bucks. So they came out with these $10 ones. I mean, they are nice. They do have ground jaws. They do cut, certainly cut wire pretty well. Nice sharp cuts there. And what is this? This is some pretty heavy wire. We'll see if it will strip. And the idea is it also has little ground plier teeth. So you do your little snip there. And then you use these little plier teeth. Now, oh, come on now. This is at the maximum size. These go from, on what is it, stranded? 22 to 12 gauge. And so that's what this is, 12 gauge. We'll give it another snip there. Kind of narrow. Well, finally. So that's the deal. That's what those little teeth are for. That's why they're so sharp and ground on these types of pliers so you can grab the insulation and pull off the little thing. Half the time that you're cutting strands of the wire is because you're using this, you're clamping down and then you're trying to pull it off and this is nearly impossible. And on these ground ones that's super sharp so inevitably you dig in on one side or the other and break a strand. So you're supposed to use the little pliers. They're not really meant for you to torque around and use as normal pliers because these are sheet metal and you'll risk bending these and that really makes these especially the cutters not work very well anyway for 10 bucks if you're a harbor freight fanatic they they'll work well i mean by a knockoff the greenlee only does five sizes here but this greenlee is an american made set and uh, that's what i mean i think it's even though the doyles are taiwanese they're you know just essentially exact knockoffs exact same length same double molded handles, same curve, everything is nearly the same, slightly different spring, and of course made in Taiwanese. Even the little lock lever is essentially identical. So, what appear to, appears to be Harbor Freight's game these days is just uh, find out who makes the good stuff and copy it. And they can charge more money for tools and and bring more return for their investors, of course, because, you know, Notice they don't send out many coupons anymore, and uh, they aren't giving away a bunch of flash flashlights and measuring tapes anymore either. Kind of disappointing. It's neat to see Harbor Freight have higher quality tools like that, and get this wire out of here. These types of wire cutters and strippers, but it does seem that they're getting a little ahead of their, themselves in definitely a few areas. Anyway. I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.